Hey guys, it's Bowsy Wowsy, and today we are doing a tutorial on this manta ray. Just giving you guys a quick little look. She even has the spots on her belly. So fun um, addition to an ocean uh, build or just ocean animals. So let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to need 112 black stone polished, um, 42 polished black stone stairs, 38 smooth quartz, 27 polished black stone slabs, 19 smooth quartz stairs, 7 smooth quartz slabs, 3 polished black stone walls, and 2 black concrete, which is the eyes. So we're going to get started with the um, mouth area right here. Okay, And to do that, you're going to place 4 blocks. You're going to need helper blocks underneath here to get those first stairs placed. Okay, And then you're going to do a stair facing in an upside down stair against that and then on the bottom of that you're going to do another stair like this and that's your base your starting base for the manta ray so next we're going to grab our polished blackstone blocks one here and one there behind those stairs you're going to go ahead and take stairs again and we're going to place one here and one there we're going to take our smooth quartz slabs and underneath that block we placed we're going to place slabs like this now that we've finished the mouth you can go ahead and grab your black stone blocks behind the stairs like this go ahead and connect them like that on top here we're going to place a slab here and a slab there on the outside of these blocks here go ahead and place your black concrete here and here and underneath all of these um, black stone blocks that we placed, we're just going to slab all the way under them like this. Okay, now that we're back at the front here, you're going to go ahead and come around to the back. We're going to take our smooth quartz stairs, a block like this here, and a block like that there. On top of that one, you're going to place a block like this. Okay, That's what that should be looking like there. And on this side, you're going to place a block like that. So again, this is what that should be looking like. And connected to the outside of these stairs, a polished block here and a polished block there, and one in the middle like this. We're going to surround that by quartz. Okay, looking at the back here, we're going to place a quartz here. And then we're going to flip around looking from the front to the back like this. I'm going to place a stair on this side and a stair on that side. And I apologize for all the cutting and editing that I'm having to do in this video. I have pictures that I work off of and go along with the slices, but this one is just very complicated. So I'm having to keep going back and looking at the original and then coming back to when I'm showing you guys how to build it. So apologies. Back at the front here, we're going to work behind this eye. Okay, we're going to place a smooth quartz behind it, a polished black stone like this, another one coming out, a slab on top of that, a slab here next to this to build the base for another black stone on top of that, a black stone next to it, okay, a slab on top of that black stone we just placed, and then against that slab, two more black stone. This is what that should be looking like. Let's go ahead and copy it to the other side. So we're going to place a smooth quartz here and a black stone up against that, another one next to it. Okay, we're going to place a slab here and a slab on top of this second black stone, a polished black stone on top of this top slab here, one next to it like that a slab on top of that and coming up working off that slab two more black stone like this so both sides should be exactly the same on the inside here we're going to take our stairs and we're going to place a stair here like this and same thing on the other side another stair like that okay underneath the stairs we have a full block on either side we're going to come in one with another full block like this two polished black stone in the middle and full blocks like this on either side from the back here on this quartz we're going to place a helper block here and a helper block there so go ahead and come to the side and we're going to do that square stair trick 
So you're going to place it up against the concrete instead of the quartz behind it to form that square piece. And the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and remove this piece instead of placing the stair facing here. You're going to place it facing that way. Okay, and that'll create that squared off piece. From here, we're going to go ahead and extend a little bit. We're going to take a black stone here and a black stone there, a quartz in between it like this. Another quartz here and another quartz there, a little bit of a checkerboard right here. Up against this quartz, we're going to place a stair here. Same thing on the other side, an upside down stair there, a quartz on top of it, and a quartz on top of it like that. Go ahead and extend it out one more by one like this. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and place, uh, we're gonna continue these wings out. Let's start on this other side. We're gonna go a block here, a block here, with a block next to it. Okay, we're gonna go a s upside down stair like this. And we're gonna place a block on top of that and pull it out three. Go ahead and grab your stairs right here where this slab is. We're gonna place a stair here and right here, we're gonna place another stair next to that slab. Okay, this is what it looks like from the back. And we missed a stair right there. Okay, this is what it looks like from the back. And this is what it looks like from the front. And same thing on the other side here. We're gonna go ahead and place a full block, an upside down stair there a full stair this way, a block here, another block next to it, an upside down stair on that block we just placed, a stair here next to that slab, and we're gonna go out one, two, three. Okay, same, should be equal on both sides. And just to finish up the body here, we are going to place a block here and just pull it out all the way through. So that should be one, two, three, four, and five quarts. We're now facing the front. We're gonna come back and remove from right here. If we're looking at this dot on the belly, we're gonna remove this block and we're gonna place that as an upside down stair. And same thing on the other side, an upside down stair like that. Okay, this is what that part should be looking like. We're gonna move back over to the front, okay? We're going to extend out this way and we're gonna turn, okay? We have the polished black stone. We're just going to create a line of five like this. We're gonna take our stairs, an upside down stair with a block on top of that. Again, upside down stair, block on top of that and a block of quartz like this, okay? Underneath all of these full blocks here, go ahead and full blocks of quartz like this. From the back, we're gonna go ahead and work on this next wing slice here. You're going to take a full block here, a stair underneath that, oh, a stair like this, a stair on top of that. We're gonna place a full block on top of that stair, two blocks out upside down stair, we're kind of copying the other side, but it will change up in just a second. And a stair right here, okay? Instead of going out three, we're gonna go out one, two, three, and four. On the end, we're gonna go upside down stair, and we're gonna put a slab on top of that and one slab pointing out, okay? So we're gonna copy that over on the other side. A full block here, upside down stair, stair here, full block there, full block here, again, the stair trick. And instead of doing three, we're gonna do one, two, three, and four with an upside down stair at the end and one, two slabs coming out. So here is what your wing should be looking like from the back. And here is what your belly should currently be looking like as well. Let's work on that next slice of the wing um, but to do that, we need we do need to add a little bit more to the body. So go ahead and pull five back like this. And underneath two and four, go ahead and place two black stone and then fill that in with smooth quartz. Okay, right here, go ahead and place a block, a full block like this and like this. 
with a upside down stair here and a stair in it. So same thing on the other side, upside down stair with a stair going like this. Okay, up against those stairs and that little um, mark we've created there, go ahead and place two blocks like this. We're gonna go ahead and go for an upside down stair right there, another stair right here. So this is a line of three stairs. Okay, a block there, a block here, and instead of a stair here, we're placing a slab. So make sure you pay attention to that. Okay, instead of a stair here, we're also placing another slab. Go ahead and place one, two full blocks here. And we're placing an upside down stair like this with one, two slabs on top of that. Okay, so let me show you right here where we had up where we had upside down stairs that did continue here. On the second part of it, that turned into a slab. And then here we did change up the rest that we did. So let's go ahead and copy that over to the other side. We're gonna go a full block here. And we're gonna come out one on that. Again, we're gonna go upside down stair like this and upside or right side stair like that. A full block here with a full block there. Again, we're gonna put a slab here and a slab there. One, two full blocks with an upside down stair and then one, two slabs like this. Okay, hopefully I made it relatively easy for you to follow. Back, we're looking at the back here. We're gonna place one, two, three smooth quartz, an upside down stair here, and an upside down stair like that. Okay, on top of that, we're gonna place one, two blackstone, one, two blackstone, with a quartz in the middle like this. From there, we're gonna build out this last portion of the wing. So we have two blackstone here. Go ahead and extend that out by one. Next to that, we're gonna put a top um, slab right next to it. On top of that slab, a full block like this. Another block next to it with a slab on top of it and a slab to the side of it. And then one, two more full blocks like this. And that's that for the rest of, for finishing off this wing. Let's copy that over to the other side. We're going to extend one right here. We're going to place a, oop, a slab next to it, a block on top of that slab, extend that out by one more, a slab here, a slab on top of it, and then one, two, like this, okay? So it's so hard to see with how everything is so black, but here's a top view. Here's kind of like a bottom view. From the back here, let's go ahead and keep working. Up against this quartz here, we're gonna place an upside down stair, an upside down stair, and a quartz in between that. Go ahead and bring it up by one. And we're gonna go with our blackstone, one, two, three, and one, two, three on either side. So this is what that, from the bottom, should be looking like and from the top, what it should be looking like. Adding just a little bit more to the body, we're gonna go ahead and place a black stone here, a black stone here, and a black stone here for again, that checkerboard, and we're gonna fill in the middle of that checkerboard with smooth quartz underneath the black. Go ahead and place another full block here. Okay, that's what that should be looking like. Again, and a little bit more from the bottom, so you can see what we're doing. And then we're gonna come back from the top and we're gonna place three black stone here. And right up against this quartz, another stair like that. And then let's go ahead and face this side. We're gonna work on that tail and that's one block here, one block there. We're gonna place an upside down stair butting up against that, a, up, a right side stair there, a full block here, Another full block coming out, repeat that stair design like this. Okay, and we're gonna go one, two again. 
and then we're going to take our walls and we're going to go one, two, three. And that's it. You have completed the manta ray. So I know it's a little bit complicated, especially with that wing design, but hopefully I made it clear. If I didn't, please let me know and I can redo the video and try and make it a little bit clearer for you guys. But definitely looks really cool. I like that I was able to add the speckling in. So hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.